Greater Manchester Buses Limited is a private company formed as a result of the reorganization of public transport in October 1986. GM Buses is independent and progressive and structured to play a prominent role in the revitalization, modernization and future development of public transport in Greater Manchester. We are the leading operator in the area with an extensive network and a wide range of services provided by over 2,000 vehicles and 6,300 staff, 14 garages and an annual turnover of more than 100 million pounds. Built from three distinct area companies plus three trading units, GM Engineering, Charter Plan, a coach operator, and GM Property Services, GM Buses is a large company. As such, we make a significant contribution to the general welfare and business life of the region. In 1986-87, we operated approximately 73% of a total mileage of 80 million bus miles within the conurbation. Approximately 20% of all journeys made in Greater Manchester are by bus. That's 20 times the number that travel by train. Of these bus journeys, almost a third are for shopping, and more than a third are for work. One only has to look around any part of the county to see the familiar colours of GM buses serving the public. So what have we achieved? In our first year as a private company, we showed a small operating loss, which may have looked like a cause for concern, but it wasn't. In fact, it was a cause for optimism. Our professional management plan is now turning that initial loss into a healthy profit more than proving the viability of GM buses as a company. This is because our management team knows what it is doing. Originally a loss was predicted because we knew the business and envisaged the problems that would be encountered. But we were also fully aware that these problems could be surmounted by utilizing our many skills and years of experience in the bus business. And this financial viability will be achieved within the acknowledged aims of the company which are to provide a safe, reliable and efficient local bus service. To promote the maximum patronage of these services. And to comply with all statutory and legal obligations of the various transport acts within which we operate. Financial viability, of course, means making a profit. This can only be done by responding to the needs of the customers who pay to travel on our buses. The company has been shaped to this end, so that we can move forward to meet those many and diverse needs. So, how are we dealing with the new demands made by the public? Since deregulation, bus companies have generated a great deal of interest, but much of the comment was merely a reflection of the problems of installing a new way of working literally overnight. What we have had to do is refine routes and services, adopting new strategies to deal with new opportunities. And with some 34 other operators in direct competition with us on routes throughout the county, we must obviously plan ahead. We are aware that competition is good for all, sharpening the service, improving the product, and benefiting the consumer. But rather than just sit back, we have listened to what our customers have told us. As a result, we have taken a number of important marketing initiatives, including the promotion of existing services and the introduction of many new ones. Double-deck buses are the backbone of our service. They are the natural contenders for the main routes. Thanks to their size and carrying capacity, they are the efficient, cost-effective solution to busy routes. A further refinement of our double-deck services are our very high-frequency routes, which feed into the commercial centres of the county with a guarantee to the customer that the next GM bus is only minutes away. GM Express buses operate on certain popular routes between satellite locations across the county. As their name implies, they're quicker because they only make a limited number of stops. A natural development of this is the branding of individual services, such as Route 582, in all cases, the customer is left in no doubt as to the reliability of the bus service provided by GM buses. Little GEM minibuses are a new concept, 
Originated by GM buses, they are now firmly established on more than 50 routes. By utilising intimate local knowledge, little gems have lived up to their name and have generated a warm response from the public who appreciate that the buses justify their claim of being local, frequent and friendly. It's our intention to continue to provide this type of community-based service throughout the region. And it's through considered initiatives like these that brand loyalty is being built. But value for money must obviously play its part. Hence the success of our off-bus ticketing, such as bus about tickets, which are used exclusively on GM buses. Launched in February 1987, they quickly established themselves as the most popular money-saving ticket, winning a substantial market share in their first year. And the use of Greater Manchester Passenger Transport Executive's fare-saving schemes, like Clipper Card, ensures that regular bus users can save money. The ready availability of reliable information is also a spur to continued customer loyalty. To this end, our bus guides are regularly updated. By fine-tuning services to local needs, based on an ongoing experience of changing demand, we not only take account of our customers' demands, but also the need to provide the most cost-effective service possible. These bus guides are readily available at a variety of outlets, including all bus stations. As to marketing initiatives, we advertise our services on and in buses, as well as employing innovations, such as leaflet drops to households announcing new routes. We also enjoy an involvement in the communities that shape Greater Manchester. And this level of involvement is further enhanced by our attention to customer care. We are putting in place a comprehensive customer care program to ensure that all our staff, not just our drivers, provide the friendly, efficient service our customers deserve. This will also give the company an essential competitive edge because after all, our customers can just as easily use another operator's bus. And this is the key to GM Bus's future. Initial concern has given way to a realization that by taking the time to get it right first time, via the steady implementation of new services and innovations firmly based on customer response and market research, we are on course to become an efficient, competitive and profitable enterprise. So, what at first glance may seem a large and unwieldy organisation is in fact an extremely efficient, integrated company providing the county it serves with a comprehensive network of routes which allow fair-paying customers the opportunity to travel almost anywhere. Our chief executive, Ralph Roberts, sums up the company's achievements and future prospects. GM Buses has done more than just inherit has transformed and built upon an invaluable wealth of experience, expertise and knowledge of the region's local transport needs and requirements. As such, we are geared to providing the people and communities of Greater Manchester with a more effective, innovative and efficient network of bus services. Services which will meet the aspirations of the region its development, future economic growth and movement into the 1990s. GM Buses. Moving with the times. <laughs>